Toro today is all about simply supported beam. It is a type of beam which has pin support at one end and roller support at the other end. The span of the beam represented here is 5 meter. That is the distance between the two supports, pin and roller. Please if you are new here, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel as it will help you a lot in your academic journey. Subscription is free and it doesn't bite, so the choice of improving academically is all yours. The question reads, find the reactions at the support of beam shown below. You are going to represent the free body diagram of this beam as the first step. This is pin support and pin support has both vertical and horizontal reaction whereas roller support has just vertical reaction that is what you're going to represent the vertical reaction at the pin support side is ra whereas the vertical reaction at the roller support is rb that means we can number this place a and this end b this 10 kN can be our c whereas 5 kN is d the first condition you are going to observe uh, is to take moment about either point A or point B. Assuming we are taking moment about point B, we can just say let summation of moment about point B be equal to zero. The moment is just the product of force and distance. Therefore, taking moment at point B means that you are going to multiply the forces individually with the distance which they make with point B. For instance, the first 10 kN is 2 meter plus 1 meter, which is 3 meter away from point B. That is not all. You are also going to check the direction which they will take while moving to point B. In that case, we have clockwise and anticlockwise direction. This is clockwise. And we can select our clockwise direction be positive and the anticlockwise direction negative. So starting with RA, the reaction RA is pointing up. And if it should move to point B, it will go this way to point B, which is clockwise direction movement. And it will cover a distance of from this point to this point. And that is 2 plus 2 plus 1, which is 5. So we have 5 RA. It's positive. Then the next force is 10 kN. And uh, considering the direction of the arrow, it will move this way, which is anticlockwise. Sorry, in the question, we forgot to identify the direction of the arrow. But arrow is pointing downwards. So the 10 kN will be negative 10 multiplied by the distance, which is 30 meter. And the next is 5 kN, which will cover a distance of from this point to point B. And that is 1 meter. So it will go in anticlockwise direction, which makes it negative. Everything equal to 0. We have 5 RA. 10 multiplied by 3 is 30. And the 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 equal to zero make r subject of the formula we have r a is equal to minus 30 minus 5 is minus 35 and if it crosses sign of equality it will become positive which is 35 all over 5 35 divided by 5 is 7 therefore our r a is equal to 7 you put the unit which is kilonewton so you are done getting the value of r a which is the reaction at point A. Now you can go ahead to get the reaction at point B, which is ROB. You can decide to say, let summation of the moment about point A be equal to zero. Still maintain your condition that clockwise direction is positive, whereas anticlockwise is negative. Looking at the beam, since you're taking moment at point A, it means that ROB will move from this point to point A, and it will move in an anticlockwise direction. Therefore, it will be negative the distance which is 5 multiplied by RB. This 5 kN force here will move from this point to point A, which is 4 meter away. Therefore, you're going to have 5 multiplied by 4. And then uh, you know it will be positive because it will move in a clockwise direction. The last force is 10 kN force, which is 2 meter away from point A. And uh, it will be positive also because the arrow indicates that it will move in a clockwise direction to point A. Everything equal to 0. You have minus 5 RB, 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, and 10 multiplied by 2 is 20 as well, equal to 0. You make RB subject of the formula, thereby having RB is equal to 40 all over 5. Then RB is equal to 8 kN. Alternatively, after getting your RA, you can simply say, let upward force be equal to downward force. The downward force is here, uh, 10 kN and 5 kN. Whereas the upward forces are the RA and RB. You can simply say RA plus RB equal to 
10 plus 5. Having on the value of your RA to be 7 kilo netting, you can substitute RB is equal to 15. Then you make RB subject of the formula. We give you RB is equal to 15 minus 7. And 15 minus 7 is the same thing as 8 kilo netting. So whichever way, your answer will still be the same. Thank you for watching this video. Please, if you found this video helpful, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Drop a comment in this video and also give this video a thumbs up.